just thought I'd show y'all something. Leaves. Up here in northern Michigan, they're starting to turn in the maples. Just thought I'd let y'all know that. Down south, I'm sure everything's still green. Anywho, here we go. This is the Ford that I was talking to you about, the uh, Expedition. Uh, All-wheel drive, okay, which is a gas sucker. And Triton 4.6. And uh, it um, got my scan gauge hooked up to this individual's vehicle, and there it is. And uh, I couldn't video while I was driving because, uh, well, that's above my pay grade. So, uh, <clears throat> but anyhow, 14 and a half miles of the gallon is what this beast gets. And uh, after installing the generator. The new design I made that I had showed on an earlier video, um, at 55 miles an hour, is 23 miles to the gallon. That's with no modifications to the O2 sensors at all, or mass airflow. But uh, and you're probably wondering, what in the world has he got going on here? This is heating my hose from my pump. And uh, this comes out of my reservoir goes back down to the pump it goes back in through the generator so that heats my my uh, electrolyte um, I boosted my electrolyte which is vinegar with a little bit of uh, hydrogen peroxide and it added a little conductivity I was surprised just a little bit of conductivity but it starts to foam up at the top of the uh, and there's the reservoir it starts to foam up at the top of the reservoir and uh, I'm not too fond about that so I'll have to figure something out, but the generator is way down in, in there. You can't, I couldn't show it to you if you wanted to. I mean, but uh, that's just my uh, reservoir there. And uh, electronics are right down in here between the uh, washer fluid reservoir and the thing here. And here's the relay that uh, allows me to to uh, turn the unit on when my engine comes on. And if it, the engine turns off, it shuts off. And it's hooked right into the ignition harness down here, right into the ignition wire. And it's a 12-volt supply. And, but what I've also done is hook up a emergency cutoff. So, you know, up here, I mean, in the wintertime, snow banks get six, seven foot high. I mean, if you hit one of those, you can bust a hose or something, and you want to be able to shut it off. And so there, there it is. You shut it off. But, uh, so it was pretty simple. That just, this hooks right into the ignition wire that I showed you up, up front. And uh, it just cuts that ignition off so that the, the relay doesn't kick on if you have that switch turned off. So nothing to it but it's a lot of work this this was a beast two days putting stuff in and uh, we got it going now this up here is the condensate tank with the uh, fill port y'all you're looking for fill you know plastic the best place to go is usplastics.com man they got everything and they're very very reasonable priced you get all this these little fill ports and really high quality uh, barbed nipples and stuff like that and basically it's where I fill up and uh, goes down right into the uh, the uh, reservoir tank down there and uh, HHO comes out the generator up into this tube and uh, any condensate see these bubbles here it was kind of foamy coming up through here because when I added that uh, hydrogen peroxide it come out and just go down the bottom and I was watching it go right back out which was cool nothing was coming in here this line is completely clear so it's working like a dream but that's it for the vehicle and they're fixing to go on a little trip so I'm anxious to see what they do uh, what kind of mileage is they get and stuff like that so but at uh, 60 miles an hour I was getting 20 miles at a gallon and I know I'm not putting out near enough hydrogen what I need to do so I mean, a vehicle like this needs at least a liter a minute. And I don't think I'm quite putting out a liter a minute, so that's okay, but I know I could do better. I just got to find a different electrolyte solution.
There's got to be something better out there besides something really caustic, corrosive, dangerous. So that's what I'll be working on next is trying to find something else. But she works good. Works real good. And uh, uh, anyhow, uh, I want to thank Almost Hydrogen for giving me a shout about the electrolyte, places to buy electrolyte. I might try that. But um, that's it for now, guys. Uh, if you have any questions, don't be afraid to write me. So uh, I'll answer them as soon as I can get to them.